Don't you have errands to run for me when you get here in New York because you lost one of those bets? I think you do. LeBron James and the Lakers are losing tonight. They are losing. And if they win tonight, I will let Kendrick Perkins off the hook. He will not have to. But what if but, they lose? But if they lose, but if I'm right, Kendrick Perkins, and they lose, oh, I'm a double up, brother. I'm taking that bet because I believe that the greatest, one of the greatest in your eyes of all time, is yes. going to go out there and deliver in great fashion tonight. Does anybody have anything to say to each other? Carry on. Okay, then I'll go ahead. Don't let, uh, don't let Kendrick Perkins speak. I'm not. I'm not the one that has explaining to do. He does. Perk? What, what you mean? What you mean? And Max, um, first of all, you told Max, us to listen. carry. You, you told us to carry on. You told us to carry the hell on. Lakers are winning. Did that happen? No, it didn't. And you know what? Hey, look, I'm on to my bed, okay? But I got a question to ask, all right? I have a question to ask. What the hell are the role players doing? And I get it. LeBron James only took 19 shots. He probably should have took 25 or 30. But what the hell is Dennis Schroeder doing? What is Caldwell Pope doing? What is Andre Drummond doing? You know what? At the start of the game, the first play of the game, they ran a play. Frank Vogel drew up a hell of a play on the baseline, a misdirection play where it was a cross screen for Andre Drummond. He turned around and did like a little pin down for Caldwell Pope in the corner. He was wide open and he passed the shot. From that point there, I knew it was going to be hell in the cell. I wanted to text you right there, Stephen A., and tell you no bet. Because, look, at the end of the day, superstars are going to be superstars. And I get that, right? They're going to have their moments. They're going to have their 20 plus a night. But role players, again, role players help you win games in the playoffs, which help you win series. And right now, the Lakers are not getting a damn thing from their role players. Dennis Schroeder finished with zero points last night. Zero, a goose egg. Him at Caldwell Pope. The Phoenix Suns, young cast and Cameron Payne, Cam Johnson, uh, Brick, all are out playing this veteran group is disturbing to me. And I look at the game that was that actually happened to be the game of the night, which was the Nuggets and the Portland Trailblazers, and Dame Lillard and his historical the historic performance that he put on last night. And I said, you know what? You know what was the common denominator on why the Denver Nuggets won that damn game? It wasn't because of it was it wasn't because of Jokic having 38. It wasn't because of Michael Porter Jr. having 26. It was because of Mo Morris, who outscored the entire Portland bench and had 28 points. Role players matter. Look, you could depend on your stars. You could talk about LeBron and Anthony Davis, but your role players have to step up. Listen, man. I would tell you that I'm going to attach some level of culpability to LeBron James because you are the leader and your supporting cast that showed up soft and unproductive and with no fight in them. Um, that's a direct reflection on him to some degree, but a larger reflection on Frank Vogel because where was your defensive game plan? Your starting lineup, you had never started them together all season long. Montrell's Harrell, how the hell have you utilized him? You know Anthony Davis is injury prone. I'm not going to disrespect him and call him street clothes, even though it was funny as hell that Charles Barkley said that, but I'm certainly not going to disrespect him like that because I know he's injured and I know he wants it. He wants to be out there, but if you hurt, you hurt, and that's just how it goes. Uh, but I'm just going to look at it from that perspective and say, what about Frank Vogel, your defensive schemes, the personnel that you put in there, who you prepared to be ready in the event that Anthony Davis wouldn't be ready? All of this is a reflection on Coach Frank Vogel. Now, if you don't mind, KP, I'd like to move on from that and let's get back to the Boston Celtics if that's where we're going because I got to admit, my whole mood has changed with this kind of nonsense. I'm, I'm just in a different place right now. I'm in no mood to play around with the kind of stuff that I'm seeing going on. No, and I'm with you, but I, that's, that sounds like you letting me off the bed. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you letting me off this bed. Thank you. Let's move on. All right. Yeah, Perk. Well, Perk is down to 84% on his predictions, according to my calculations, Molly. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.